Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm James and this is Blue Dog Aquatics. Now today we're going to be talking about Aquashella. Aquashella is only three weeks away and man it is fast approaching. So what we're going to do today is talk about a little bit of what we're prepping, um, some of the animals we might be bringing along, so stay tuned for that and uh, we'll roll into it. Um, I also wanted to show you some updates on other enclosures that we've done for you guys, uh, like the 12 gallon bookshelf behind me and then my snake enclosure we actually added so many new plants and she is loving it so much more so it turned out awesome um, <laughs> she's green the plants are green sometimes she blends so much in there you can't even tell that she's in there so check that out also uh, we took a couple of pictures of the animal a couple of animals we might be bringing along it really depends uh, I know uh, it's so fast approaching but we will see how that goes now you guys know that with Aquashella comes a lot of prep, a lot of planning, a lot of packing. Uh, we actually got a huge surprise for you guys that's in the works right now. Um, we are actually re-wrapping our trailer uh, with a new logo, uh, with a new look. Um, it's cleaner, sleeker, and the truck is getting done to match, so it'll be the first time showing it off at Aquashella Chicago. If you're going to be there, Swing by the booth, say hi. Uh, I know we're going to be busy, but uh, we always love to see everybody. And then uh, while you're at it, make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date and watch our videos of Aquashella and all the other things that we're going to be doing. We're now doing videos Monday and Friday so that we can bring more to you guys. Um, drop a comment down below if there's anything you would like to see. And then uh, also, we want to talk about some of the shrimp that are coming along. Uh, if there's any one that you want and you're going to be at Aquashell of Chicago and even if you're not, um, if you're not going to be there, uh, check us out at www.bluedogaquatics.org and our Facebook and Instagram at Blue Dog Aquatics and Reptiles now. So, but if you are going to be at Aquashella, uh Chicago and there's uh, certain types of shrimp that you want to see or certain reptiles, we are bringing two Russian tortoises with us. So. Check them out. They will be for sale. Um, so swing by our booth, say hi. They're cuties, and man, they've grown fast in the time I've had them. But uh, we're going to show you some different pictures of a couple of different shrimp we're thinking about bringing. I think we're going to be bringing about 15 to 20 different species of shrimp. So we will see how that goes. Um, we we have a big order after big order after big order coming in right now. Just to make sure that they are prepped and ready to go for Aquashella. We want to make sure that they're safe and um, that they acclimate properly before they're getting sent on another trip up to Chicago. But we can't wait. It's going to be an amazing trip for us. So stay tuned for that. Now, obviously, we're not going to bring my girl behind me here. Um, she's not going to come to Aquashella. Uh, she's my own personal uh, pet, I guess you'd say, a pet I never touched because she tagged me a couple of good times, and uh, we'll show you some uh, photos of her. But uh, we will be bringing a couple of different types of snakes. Uh, we might be bringing the big carpet python. We will see. Um, I believe she is going, and she will be up for sale. Also, we'll be bringing a small false coral snake, um, which is just a coral snake that's non-venomous. So, and she's really, really tiny. So I can't even call her a she because I haven't sexed her yet. Um, but stay tuned for that. Uh, now, an update on the captain, uh, our male panther chameleon that was at Aquashella Orlando. He is doing better. Um, I don't know yet if he will be ready 
to take on that kind of a trip to Chicago, but uh, he, we actually are taking him to the vet on Monday just to ensure that everything's going good with him. And that, that's one thing. If you do have exotic pets like us, make sure that you have a reputable vet clinic that deals in exotics. That way, if you get concerned or anything like that, um, you know where to take them. Where I live here in Omaha, Nebraska, there are two of them. And they stay very, very busy because, you know, the hobby's growing more and more each and every day. So, make sure that you know, even if you don't, you're like, ah, oh, no, I'm not going to take my animal to the vet. Well, at least know where they are. That way, if there's an emergency and you need to take them there right then and there, you know exactly where they're at. And you're not scrambling, scrambling through your phone or through a phone book. Oh, man. Oh, phone book. That's an old reference. Does people, do people even have phone books on the I don't know. But anyway, like I said, make sure you uh, stay with them on that. Um, we're going to be posting random pictures throughout this video um, just on some ideas. If you see something you like and you want it to come to Aquashella, let us know. We can also do pre-order sales beforehand. Um, that way we can secure it and still transport it up there for you. Also, if you guys need any mealworms, superworms, dubias, uh, let me know. I'm also going to be bringing down a ton of duckweed. I had several people come up to me uh, at Aquashell Orlando because they were in desperate need of duckweed and it was the one bucket of plants I didn't bring. I, I swear, I have so many tanks and when one leaf gets in it, it blows out. And so, oh man, I, I throw buckets of that stuff away every week. But what I did learn is that what you can do if you have it in your tank is you can actually dry it out and then crush it back up and you can actually refeed it to guppy, shrimp, whatever other kinds of fish because it's natural nutrients from a plant that it just dried out. So it's kind of returning the favor and doing a big loop cycle, I guess. <laughs> now, like I said, we do have a lot going on when it comes to Aquashell Chicago. Uh, we are doing so much prepping and uh, the day before we're actually going to be bagging all day so that's going to be another fun day. When we bagged up for Aquashella or Orlando we were bagging for almost 12 hours and then we slept for four and then drove the 23 hours down there. Thankfully Chicago isn't as far. I think it's about an eight, seven and a half, eight hour drive for us so it won't be as much stress on the animals but we still want to take every precaution to make sure that those animals are safe. Um, just because we're selling them or finding them the new homes doesn't mean that we don't care about them. We want to make sure that they are treated just like I would treat my dog um, with all the love and care that I can give out. Like I said, if there's any shrimp or reptiles or snakes or anything that you want us to bring for you guys um, that you think people would be interested in, drop a comment down below. Um, just let us know. Also, like I said, make sure to subscribe. That way you can stay in tune. We're doing more videos just to get our name out there. You want to know a big secret? Big secret is we're actually looking for a storefront right now. It is out completely outgrown my basement. And But I'll tell you what, man. Looking for a storefront, man. Those things are expensive. But... We'll find one in time. We've only been looking for a couple of months. Uh, the ones that we have found uh, either needed a ton of work or they weren't quite what we were looking for. So we are keeping that in mind. We're hoping here in the next couple of months to be completely moved into our new storefront and we will keep you guys posted on that. Uh, that's actually where we'll start shooting videos from because there won't be any more tanks in my house, which it's gonna be weird it really is uh, I, I might keep one just, uh, and I don't know if I'm the only one that does this but like when when I sleep and I hear those bubbles I, I don't know for me it's like soothing or the water noise it, it's soothing it doesn't make me have to pee or anything like that it's just it's a very soothing sound and I, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with complete silence in the house I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. Um, <laughs> like I said, I'll probably just do 
one tank here and the rest will move on. But there'll be a lot of videos in that too because we'll be building a lot of custom enclosures, um, custom tanks and stuff like that. So stay tuned for those videos. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned because we'll have another video coming out on Monday. Man, I cannot talk today. Also, drop a, drop a comment down below. Like I said, if there's a shrimp that you saw that you like, let us know. We'll make sure to bring them to Chicago. Like I said, I think we have like three or four orders coming in over the next couple of weeks. Um, well, I should say over the next two weeks because that third week is Aquashella, Chicago. So stay tuned for that. Uh, our video coming up on Monday. Um, if you'd like to see something specific, let us know. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, as always, the big question, your tank or mine?